good evening. So, having another quick attempt at this to see what will happen. Um, with a low flow of water speed. So I flip the line over. Um, it's quite happy to run like that even with no water going through it. Eventually I'm sure there'll be damage to those hoses. But um, yeah, with a nice slow water flow, it is uh, the hot, the, the fresh cold water goes to this side first, so that's closest to the heat source and the return comes back out of there, so that probably gives it a bit more time to absorb. It's still much hotter on this side than it is this side, so um, it's definitely absorbing heat. Uh, you guys were correct, the, the reason that we are filling up with water was condensate, so I appreciate all those comments guys, that uh, we fixed that up. That's rolled around now and it doesn't build up anymore. So I've also improved it because we're now running lab power supply over there we're running at just under 5 volts 600 milliamps that's producing this good continuous trickle but we're probably only getting maybe 5 degree rise you can feel that it's warmer but it's really not much warmer so yeah as a few of you have noted it takes a lot of uh, energy to heat this kind of silly quantity of water so there's probably 800 litres in there at the moment got a little bit full I wasn't paying attention to it filling up uh, yeah you probably wouldn't run that much with a person in there you probably want to take about a hundred liters out I suppose but yeah that's not adding to it super fast so my next thought is we might try a voltage sensitive DC dump load so basically connect it straight to the charge controller and uh, once we've got enough power in the pack um, we'll make something switch so that it starts uh, feeding feeding a bit of heat into here straight off the solar panels so I don't want to pull it out of the batteries because that's that's hard on the chemical storage uh, you really don't want to be making them work too hard for no real reason um, but straight out of the panels isn't a bad isn't a bad idea especially after the Battery is already full. That'll be uh, that'll be good. It's just power that I'm not capturing in my battery bank if I haven't used it fast enough already. Um, yeah, so that's a potential way we could heat it. The other is a cool little like wood fire with a uh, with a heat exchange in it. Same thing with the pump kind of thing. We'll make a heat exchange for a for a wood fire and extract the energy that way and we can burn off timber scraps and bits of wood and bark and stuff like that I might even drive, drag the um, K-shape rocket stove over here which you might have seen in early videos and uh, see if we can heat the water in this water pot and yeah, it's, it's definitely getting a gain but it's certainly nothing to write home about um, like a lot of people have mentioned You would need to be uh, having that kind of temperature rise at that kind of flow rate to heat this much water up in any kind of sensible time. So the, uh, I've always thought, you know, submersible pumps would create a bit of warmth. In the water, which they quite possibly do, um, it would be a bit hard to measure if they made that much of a difference. But uh, like if that pump creates heat, there's a bit more in the water. You've also got a lot of losses. You don't have much out of the outside. Someone mentioned that, you know, IBC is probably going to leak a lot of heat. Because it's plastic on the outside, it's probably not that much. If I cut out a bit of foam for a lid for it, it would probably be a lot better. So uh, just a bit of a fill-in so you just know that I'm still looking into how to do it um, and what works and what doesn't. Uh, low water flow with an EGR cooler. Um, if you're running it anyway, it's no loss, no harm, no foul. Um, but yeah, probably not not worth running your diesel heater to uh, heat the water itself. It's uh, 
chilled off tonight so I had it running anyway so I thought we might as well test it um, heading in pretty deep in towards summer now in Australia so we should start getting some nicer weather and uh, yeah we'll have a lot of spare solar that we might be able to use to do like I said with the DC dump load so I'll look into elements and see what we've got laying around or uh, maybe even get some wire and wind something ourselves and just feed 24 volts into the water and see what happens um, nice and safe obviously but uh, well it'll be up to 30 something volts off the panels but yeah we'll see if we can't put a couple hundred watts of solar straight into the water and see what happens cool videos coming up guys we got a new power bank we got uh, some new build Milwaukee bits to play with this is the M12 stick light um, we got a new impact to play with got some digging videos coming and a um, flexible solar panel to test which was like $79 on eBay so we'll uh, have some more cool stuff coming up thanks for watching catch us in the next video if you want to buy something before Christmas use one of the affiliate links in the uh, in the video description it helps the channel out and it means I can buy bits and pieces to play with and uh, make videos like this one Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next vid.